Hello Factorio people, welcome back to the broadcasts. We were expanding the base, big time, big time. We are putting in the smelting columns, uh, we were dealing with biters, and we were sort of trying our best to retire the, uh, <laughs> what can loosely be described as the starter base. I just want to reiterate that I am definitely one of those players who is not playing Factorio quickly, okay? This is a <laughs> this is a safe space for people who play Factorio very slowly, okay? I know your your Neil Houses and your and your Dosh Donningtons and your and your Hendies, your Mike Hendies. They're busting stuff out. They got blueprints, they got hours and hours and hours of experience with manual building and they just want to get stuff done. I'm not here for that. I can't do that. I'm not even I'm not capable of that. And again, that's why this is not a let's play where I record every single moment of the game because that would be quite laborious. So just just for example, we're on... <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, wait, that's not right. That's not right. I'll tell you the next time. I'll tell you the next time. Anyway, right, so this was the state of the base the last time, I believe. I don't even really remember. Let's jump forward in time to the next save point, shall we? And let me see if I can try and remember everything that happened in between those two points in time. I got in the tank and I uh, went out and, and, and killed some more biters. Just got, just like to set myself up a little bit more. That appears to be something that I did. Uh, I think it was there were some biters down here, weren't there? That I was worried that as soon as I put this coal mining thing in, that that would uh, that would become an issue. Uh, so the coal mining is 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 in. The coal is going to come up and, and run up through these uh, smelting columns here. Uh, and we're going to start bringing iron, copper and stuff in to expand the, the main base. Uh, the starter base has to wind down due to, uh, <laughs> due to a very small amount of iron ore remaining in the starter base. In fact, uh, we are kind of... don't really have a choice but to get rid of this. Obviously, of course, we're still bringing in the iron plates from here, but that is... Uh, putting a fair strain on, on this. This currently mines, it's all yellow belts, it mines uh, six belts of iron ore at its capacity. But then obviously we uh, consolidate that down into four. So it's only ever going to do four. Four or less, of course. Um, and the robots are merrily uh, plodding along. The default robot speed is pretty pretty weak, isn't it? It's pretty, pretty weak. Yeah, so these two smelted columns, they've gone. They weren't really ever doing anything anyway, but I thought I would just tidy them up just for uh, completeness. Uh, yeah. And the coal is in. See if you can spot the mistake here, folks. Points if you can spot the mistake here. See if you can uh, think about that while I briefly jump forward in time. Oh my goodness, I did the thing again where I forget to click into the factory window before I start pressing buttons. I went out even further and did some more killing. Some more killing of the biters while uh while things while things get done. The coal is almost almost in now. Almost. I, I spend a lot of time waiting for uh building all of this in one go was definitely a mistake, considering that the starter base is uh Still struggling to get two belts of iron ore to do everything I want it to. I've had to just stop doing science for a bit. Just to uh, make sure all my resources go to where they need. Uh, this isn't in fact the uh, update either where I change where I change this. I think it's the next one. But I'll, I'll tell you anyway. Um, it's kind of si It's kind of silly on my part that somebody with, with ostensibly as much experience as I did have, do have made such a silly mistake. Obviously these inserters are going to, only ever going to output onto one side of the belt. And as such, these 6 to 1 lane balancers are absolutely useless. And I cannot tell you why I did it like this. I never ever use 6 to 1 lane balancers unloading trains. 
I just don't do it like that. I don't even use 6 to 1 lane balance as loading trains half of the time. I find it to be a bit overkill and uh, UPS. I don't really care about UPS. I personally have never, ever, ever. It's really bright. Look at that. I mean, don't look at the sun, obviously. Just look at the sun on the side of my face. Um, that's better. <laughs> uh. I've never ever ever gotten to the point where I've built a base and my UPS has started to tank. And I have built 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 science per second mega bases before. Uh, I think maybe I think maybe I've gotten down to like 52 updates per second. Um, and even then, that would go up and down depending on exactly what I was doing or looking at at the time. So I never really make huge decisions about my base in terms of updates per second, because I know that my bases are never going to really last that long. Uh, I always upload my trains like this. Either like this, with two with the wagons like this, or I do this, but like the whole wagon. Ignore the power pole, obviously. Um, it just works. It just plain works. So we've expanded a bit more. This is nasty over here. This is nasty. Uh, poison captures. I started using poison captures as well. I, I feel like I'm going. I'm like just playing off meta, you know. Everyone knows what the meta is when it's coming to destroyed biters, and that's just do nothing, put turrets down, and then get artillery, and then then you then you're done. Whereas no, I'm doing the poison capsule defender capsule meta. Uh, it doesn't really work. It, I mean, it does work. I don't die very often. I hardly die at all, in fact. But being very proactive about it. Anyway, let's move on. These videos are supposed to be short, and here I am waffling on like a, like a numpty, like a numpty. The trains, the train, the, the 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 trains are making their way to the real the real base, what I'm going to call the real base, which is the third base. We've got the, the bootstrap base, which feeds into the starter base, which has let us build the main real base, which will let us build the mega base. Uh, so here we go. And then here's where I realize, oh wait, this doesn't work at all, does it? What an idiot. What a smooth-brained individual I am. And then I thought, well, why did I build it like this in the first place? I literally never build it like this. I don't even think I don't even think these individual lines of uh, splitters would, would would change anything. It's not even that. It's not like this then drops off. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. I don't know what I was thinking. I do not know what I was thinking. So I fixed that. Um. I fixed that, and I, I've tidied some more stuff up here. I, I always find that I, there's something that I haven't automated outside of, of the bootstrap base, that, and I really want to try and start going to the bootstrap base less and less. Uh, and you can see I've cut the uh, copper supply off here so that eventually, as the iron very slowly trickles through and builds the stuff that we need, the copper will run out and then that's the sign that this needs to go. Uh, I'm also kind of worried that I've never done any more oil than this. Which is fine, but oil oil is much like uh, much like green circuits. You kind of have loads, and then suddenly you have none, and it's like, oh wait, yeah. Uh, and that usually happens around the time that you put uh, processing units in, because you use a lot of red circuits to make processing units. Well, not loads, I guess. No, it's low density structures, sorry, that's what I mean. Low density structures. And then you put low density structures in, your copper and your plastic all suddenly dries up. Your petroleum dries up because you're plastic because you're using too much plastic and then oh my god. Uh I put some more solar stuff in. Look at that, look at how well these tile. I did mean to actually double check. I realised that I could squeeze a couple more in rather like doing it like this instead. Um and I can't work out if that would make the ratio better or worse. But then also I thought I kind of like the spaces. 
kind of like the spaces. It gives it sort of this cellular automata sort of feel to it. So I just, I just gonna leave it. <laughs> just, just gonna leave it to be honest with you. Right. I did a really, t <laughs> sorry folks. I did a really, a really terrible job of remembering what I'd done in between sessions here. I, I, I named the save files, but even that's not really, not really doing it for me. I think I had an extra column of labs here at one point, just because, uh, and I started the science off again just to get through some simple stuff. It's okay. Uh, definitely, a couple of the a couple of these save files have quite large changes, so don't worry, folks. Stick with it. Stick with it. And literally, every one of my save files is just called "more tidy up, tidy up, more tidy up." These are the unloaders you want. This is what works. So if you if you're not aware, when you unload onto a splitter, uh, give me these rails, I guess. When you unload onto a splitter, it is smart enough to like this is OP, right? Everyone knows that this is just broken. It's just not fair how good this is. And it doesn't make any sense that it's this good. Where did they go? Um, because uh, the astute amongst you will have noticed that this is unloading twice as fast as this is loading because every tick this arm can actually unload onto both belts even though it's unloading like literally straight into the gears of the machine this is pure quality of life this is a very good example of game design not making any sense but being just a quality of life thing like if the game didn't allow you to do this it would be frustrating so just let me do it please so then, that is that is what is happening up here, onto a belt that points downwards. Uh, and I think even that would probably fill one belt. Not quite. Uh, and that is probably because there are still uh, levels of inserted capacity bonus to get. Certainly when you get blue belts, you need both. Uh, and then that just feeds into a balancer here. This is your four. This is your four by four lane balancer, which I'm not 100% sure is necessary. I just, I just like it. I like how it looks. Again, UPS be damned. Am I right? Am I right, folks? <laughs> so finally, 20, 20 odd hours in. How, how, how? I need to turn, start turning the autosaves off when I'm doing this, every time this happens. Uh, where are we? Oh my god, that's a lot of save files. Uh, 15 hours. 15 hours. I don't know. I mean, oh, I know that's not fast. I know that's not good. And I don't want to make anyone feel bad. I was just, like, holding my hands up earlier and going, like, I'm a slow factorial player, all right? Okay. I, I don't want to make anyone who's go who goes even slower than this feel bad. Play the game at your own pace. That's all I'm saying. And if your pace is blisteringly fast, then good for you. Uh, lots of... A I, 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 small bit of um, processing units here. Obviously not enough to do anything really meaningful, but enough to just sort of get a supply of... Uh, of them to make some small things. Because if you look at what processing units actually go into... Uh, they go. What, they, there's a lot of uh, stuff for the nanobots that they're going to. 40 into power armor. Artillery targeting remote. You only just you just make one of those, and then you've then you've got one. Personal batteries only need 15, and again you don't really need to make those in large quantities. Beacons you do. Discharge defense. Efficiency module. Obviously efficiency modules don't count. You need a small amount into one-time use things. Personal laser defenses, personal robo ports, a hundred, you know, sixty into some power armor. 
it behooves you to have a small supply of these ready to go at any one time so that you can make things like Roboport Mark IIs and uh, laser, personal laser defences and stuff. You don't really need to worry about busting them until you are fully ready to start making uh, yellow, yellow science and launching rockets. Uh, I named this so far Copper coming into the base, but clearly that was wrong. That must be the next one. That must be the next one. Right, let's keep going. Uh, yes, copper. Copper expansion has happened. I neglected to do automatic expansion with these roboports to get this done. I, I just didn't see why that was relevant. I did build the station in such a way that I could build these two Oh, advanced movement speed 4. Uh, this is uh, what I was saying before, where you can build the stations in the correct place for the chunk. Chunk alignment. So, like, this is incorrect. That roboport and power pole collides with what you need it... with uh, other things that you need it to do. Whereas... Uh, whereas this one is in the perfect correct place where the roboport and power poles just sit neatly there on either side and that's my biggest regret down here is I didn't double check that before I did it there is a world in which these stations are actually here instead um, but alas and alack we live and we learn uh, I think I mixed Shakespeare and an Alanis Morissette song there. And Alanis Morissette, in her own way, is a Shakespeare, isn't she? I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, green circuits are running out. Because I keep building more solar panels, or at least trying to. I tore this down, as you, as you may have noticed. I forgot exactly when I did that. I tore it down. It was in the way. It was always in the way. It should never have been there in the first place. Um, and I think that's probably where I repurposed some of the solar panels for this. Uh, this is running dry. This is very clearly running dry. And the fact that I have two iron trains now, one going, both of them going here to this modest 11 million patch means that this train can't go and load with iron as often as it would like because obviously I set this to have a I thought I set this to have a train limit of one probably should have done that I think I do that I do do that at some point anyway so I just I, I expanded the copper basically because uh, I could have picked this one five million kind of small as well not really good enough um, and again I used uh, Mining Patch Planner to just pick the simple one with a, a lack of undergrounds because I'm still, you know, I, I'm worried about I'm worried about the iron supply here. Basically, um, let's expand some more. Let's expand even more than this, shall we? We're still going. We're still going, folks. Alright, this save file seems to be called the main base quote marks, and I've written quote marks because you can't actually use a quotation mark in a save file name, so I wrote the real base quote marks. Um, so yeah, the iron, this, the copper, uh, this will be steel, eventually. The green circuits. Uh, this is already wrong, I put this down and then immediately hated it because I realised that if I wanted... Because when I, when I pasted this down, I was like, I can't quite squeeze it in here twice, so I won't. And then I was like, I really should have just found a way to get that to work, because why did I put it in such a stupid place? Like, why? So, I uh, don't worry, don't worry, folks, I fixed that. Uh, but this is the now the beginning of the main bus base. And uh, I know what you're thinking, because I was thinking exactly the same thing. Why the hell have I gone to all of this work just to duplicate this on this side, but with two lanes of, two extra lanes of iron and two extra lanes of copper. Wouldn't it have been better to just keep expanding this? And you are right. You are definitely not wrong. 
kind of have wasted a lot of time and effort here doing this. Um, but I suppose it is kind of a, it's more expandable here. Like there's nothing stopping me from just expanding south forever, and just sort of once things have solidified a bit more, doing this again and injecting another set of four lanes of iron, four lanes of copper, and whatever else I need to. I could even, if I was feeling really crazy about it, put it on the other side. That was not the blueprint I wanted. Put it up, put stations on the other side and just inject some more copper onto this side. I'd have to get rid of these biters, which, <laughs> you know, cross that bridge when we come to it. The bots are still doing their best to get this done. What are they doing? Where are they, where are they going? I don't know. Um, I have the mod that lets me turn wood into landfill, because otherwise you just have loads of wood and you have to do this thing where you say that the logistics chest is, you know, the wood logistics chests are going to be here and you prioritise wood input and then you just have to burn the wood or you just end up not ever burning the wood because you've gone past the need to have wood boilers for any, uh, you know. So I just install a mod for it. It's just a little quality of life thing. It turns uh, 20 wood into one landfill. That's okay, isn't it? It's not cheating, is it? I don't know. Uh, and I sensibly left extra space here so that I can expand these to be extra long when blue belts show up, and also when I want to start using modules and uh, beacons and stuff with the electric furnaces. So put that down as a rare W for me, a rare big brain W for me. Uh, w is something the kids say when they want to say the word win. They just say W. It just takes longer. But, you know, I'm a 40-year-old man, so I don't know what's going on. Don't ask me. Do not ask me at all. Right, moving on. Steel! I thought I'd just make this steel. You know? Why not? Four lanes of iron into uh, some steel. Uh, I had to remove this robo, the equivalent of this robo port here. Um, but call it luck, call it skill, call it planning. That does not result in a gap in the logistics, and that is not my robo port. As you can see, I'm toggling my personal robo port on and off here. That is not being covered by my personal robo port. Let me move out of the way just so that we are 100% doubly sure of that. You can remove the odd robo port and still have 100% build coverage with this design. A rare, another rare, <laughs> is it rare if I say it twice in a row? A rare W for me. There. Uh, and I fixed the copper thing that I was talking about. This doesn't actually make four be uh, red belts of green circuits, and most uh, professional uh, Factorio players will tell you that it's bad to, to do that. It gives you a false sense of security, and what is the point of, you know, yeah, it looks like you've got four lanes of green circuits, but then as soon as you actually start using some of these you're just buffering the circuits on the belts um, me a novice with 2000 hours in this game it's future proofing they call it future proofing you know eventually we'll get beacons eventually 5000 hours from now I imagine that we'll unlock beacons they're not actually called beacons are they they are it's called effect transmission but still um is there a setting that lets you... Is there a setting that lets you see everything before you've unlocked it in your hotbar? I can't remember whether that's something they just changed eventually. Uh, interface, I guess? Uh, show all items in selection lists. There it is. Confirm. There it is. I know what size it is as well. I re didn't really need to do that, but you know. like It's future-proofing. It's future-proofing. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about the beacons because they're a bit of a they're going to be a bit of a surprise even to me. 
But, you know, here's the... Oh, my God, this one is bigger. No, I've been done. I've been had. Oh, no. Beacons 2 and 3 are bigger. Oh, well. That's part of the fun, right? I'll find somewhere to squeeze it in, I'm sure. Uh... Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's uh, we'll cross that ridge when we come to it. Change my hotbar for no reason. Right, yeah. Uh, uh, moving on, I suppose. There's a lot of individual segments in this video, isn't there? I didn't realise I'd done so much, and yet, so little. I had to build more ste uh, more uh, trains, didn't I? I can't have three. If this is going to be steel, I can't have three trains all trying to load from iron from this. I do actually remember to set the train limit. God, I'm good. Um, so I thought, oh, here's a nice tasty patch. So I did clear some of these biters out, but it caused a bit of a, a bit of a problem. So I decided that this would be a good time to. Um, build some defences, especially now I have lazy beams. Uh, and there's a uh, laser shooting speed 3 just finishing as well. Uh, let me just get rid of that flashing for you. Uh, so I, I made some uh, laser wall blueprints. Chunk aligned, of course. That's the theme. We're going with a the theme here. Uh, just an edge piece and a... Uh, why do I always open my blueprint book? Get one blueprint out when I want to show off. And then, and then a corner corner section. Uh, oh, the RoboPort doesn't line up in between those. Christ. I'll fix that, don't worry. Uh, can I fix that now? Yes, let me just fix that now, just while I'm here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That should be very clearly, that should be there. Very, very clearly. Uh, if I don't fix this now, I will forget. I wish you could just edit a blueprint like this, you know? Like, pick a dollies, but for blueprints. Get on that, whoop. It's all out of your crappy game. Uh, oh, I need the I need the, the, the tar grid on as well, if I'm going to do this. Because this goes from there to there. Get rid of this. 32 by 32, say blueprint. Good. Right, turn the tar grid off again. Come out map for you. No. That's because I've got night vision goggles on. It's weird, isn't it, that the, the radar view is, is nice and green, but my own personal view, even though... Yeah, they should do something about that as well, in my opinion. If you're in a radar, if you're within a radar... No, that doesn't really make any sense. Anyway. Hey, how has that gone so... What?! How, have I, how has this gone so wrong? That's better. Right, okay. A corner one. And an edge one. The corner one doesn't 100% line up with the edge one, because... But that's fine. You shouldn't ever really need to, to change an edge one into a corner one. I suppose I could build for that eventuality. I suppose I should. Was that ever going to happen, realistically? Are you ever going to build an edge one and then go, oh, that should be a corner one? I mean, yes, you'll make that mistake, but never, like, halfway through. And never, like, posthumously. <laughs> you know? You're going to go, oh, actually, I'm going to put a corner on here. Um... This is These are real biters, by the way. I know it looks odd, but I lured them from here to here. But I thought I would also, while I was here, show you um, something that you can do when you want to test out your defences. And you may know this. I can't imagine there are very many novice Factorio players. Well, I can't imagine there's anyone watching this at all at this point. But I can't believe there are very many uh, novice Factorio players watching this. You can do slash editor, forward slash editor. It will disable achievements, so you have to enter it twice just to be doubly sure that you don't want to break your game from achievements. And this brings up this uh, map editor thing, and then you can go to the entities thing and uh, pick enemies and just drop down some stuff. So let's drop down, I don't know, six big biters and then press play. And then you can see how things are going, you know? That did alright, didn't it? 
Um, what about big spitters? So you don't have to necessarily sit and wait. That many big spitters, obviously, that's going to cause a problem. I did put a little uh, chest here full of uh, repair packs, but we lost a turret. We lost a turret to that. I don't think uh, realistically that is ever going to happen. I think I'm going to be well clear of these biters before that happens. Although that is kind of a lot of big spitters, isn't it? But they're just hanging out. They're never going to form an attack group like that. I think. I don't think. Anyway. Um... And then, and then, and then you just load the game. You know, you just you just load up that last save file, and it's like nothing ever happened. Is it cheating? Possibly, possibly. I don't know. Uh, obviously, when you save things to your blueprint book, though, that is. A global change. Um, I guess if you went into a sandbox save file, if you had a deliberate save file that was a sandbox that you used to build these things and you tested it there and then incorporated that into your real game, that's slightly more proper. Ultimately though, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's a single player game, you can do what you want. Uh, so, yes. Eventually, there will be another iron station here for... Uh, we've got two iron loading points for three trains. That should be more than sufficient. Uh, and this is the beginning of the real base. So, hopefully, now that we've done the major, major, major legwork for this, I can possibly bring this stone in for... Yeah, I can just bung this here. have to get rid of those. Uh, but this is the beauty of this system, right? If I want to build a T-junction here, these signals go. T-junction goes there. Station goes... Oh, station goes th there, don't forget. No, wait. This is wrong. Undo. Undo. Undo that. And undo that. Put the stations back. The station needs to go either here... So I want to make sure that it's in the right place so that it doesn't get in the way. It can't go in any. Can't go in this line. So it can't go in the line next to. Yeah, he is better. He is better. So that the loading, a battle net again. Just I talked about this last time. Just flipping decided that it was going to show me it still exists. Tree is in the way. Oh, it's not quite in a build zone. There we go. See? Easy. So now stone can come in. I did kind of put this exactly in the line that I was earlier talking about, maybe uh, using as an injection point for more furnaces and stuff. But this is fine. It's okay. I want this to look organic, you know? I think some of my issue with the city block design that it can look a little bit too rigid. Uh, which is fine, of course, but sometimes you want, you know, you just want that sort of throw-it-together look. It's neat and tidy, but also organic. Like a Borg cube. Yeah, never thought of it like that before. So, fingers crossed that this laser defense grid works out. Uh, now that we've got laser defenses, it becomes much easier to just decide to defend a critical point rather than having to worry about loading ammo and blah 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 blah. So we can be a bit more defensive for now until we start getting artillery and stuff sorted. Uh, and yes, as I was saying, we can merely just start pasting blueprints down of key sections. Uh, oil needs to come in. Dipped in Mama Liz's chili oil? I'm so sorry. Um, so oil needs to come in at some point. I said the word oil and then just incepted myself and I had to say that just to get it out of my head. I guess we can bring oil in from here. 
but it makes more sense to use this as a T-junction and bring it in this way than it does to go up. But then that means I've got to do that manually because my uh, city blocks stop here. And obviously if you build too much of an L shape, the robots try and cut across rather than... So like these robots here, they've, got, they've gone from their charging point to here, which is their destination. Doing that this way would be a nightmare, so functionally I need to... I would have to have these going all the way up. Which I, I could do. It would take a long time. And I'd also want to get rid of the trees. I think I'd rather just manually build across. Anyway, I don't know why I'm explaining all this to you. I'm kind of just ruining the plans for the next episode. But oil can come in. We'll put an oil blueprint down. Get plastic sorted. It should snowball a bit from here. We should be able to get basically back up to, the, to where we were. And also purple and yellow signs. Without too much of a headache. Hopefully... Hopefully that's the plan anyway. We may even be able to cut a few things out that we don't need. Except you need robot frames for science, don't you? And batteries for stuff. So, anyway, hopefully we'll be getting to more of a... We'll speed up again after a couple of episodes of being quite slow. Quite slow. Anyway, that's going to be the end of that. Please... Please let me know if you enjoyed, and I hope you did enjoy. Please let me know with a like or a comment, and if you want to see more Factorio, be sure to subscribe. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.